Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. Christmas came early this year in the psychedelic wonderland and Santa was very, very generous with us. He brought us the very first recreation of the grain oscillator from the Axis Virus TI series of synthesizers in Max for Life format. I'm talking about the new device by Altar of Wisdom called Grain Table which I'm going to show you today and we're going to jam on it and see what kind of psychedelic magic it can create. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you'd like to support the channel and help me grow the project, you can always consider becoming one of my patrons or buy my presets on Gumroad or just leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you like its content. This helps a lot. Now, with that said, let's dive into the tutorial. So, Grain Table looks just like this, and it's pretty straightforward if you understand the principles behind it, which, which is really simple. It's basically a slave wave that will get duplicated, detuned, and then it will get modulated. It's some sort of a complex amplitude modulation, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you look at the device, you can see the whole idea, you know, if that makes sense. So here you have the slave wavetable or slave table uh, section. Here you have the carrier section. Here you have the modulation section or the grain table engine and the output section, which has, you know, classic amp, some filtering, wave shaping and a scope if you'd like to see what's going on. Uh, so, yeah. I didn't think of a better way to demonstrate what everything is doing than by just, you know, loading some wavetables and starting to have some fun with it. So, the slave wavetable section in here. We can drag and drop our wavetables or we can just, by clicking on this folder in here, we can choose our wave, favorite wavetable uh, folder and we can scroll this through the our wave, favorite wavetables. And this is what I'm going to do. I'll load the Access Virus TI wavetables because I think this is the best way to test this device. So, Virus TI wavetables. Uh, by clicking on the menu in here, we can choose manually the wavetable that we would like. I'll go with Sundial 3 because, yeah, cliche, you know, but I think it's the best for the demonstration. And we have these two buttons in here to scroll through the different wavetables. Uh, then we have the frame size, basically how the wavetable engine is reading the different frames of uh, that, that are creating our wavetable. I won't go through in details, I'll just leave you to uh, play with them, but the kind of standard size that we're using is 2048 samples per frame. But yeah, Anyways, I'll leave you to play with it. Here we have a wavetable position selector. We have a random or a note on random, which is attached to the wavetable uh, posi position selector. It can go in positive or negative values as you would like. Uh, now, as I said, it's duplicating the wavetable into you know two slave wavetables which are detuned so here we can control the volume the detuning of each of these two wavetables we can set the detuning to free we can go in semitones and we can go in octaves now i'll leave it in octaves okay for both wavetables then we have the carrier section in here so for the carrier wavetables or shapes we can choose from pre let's say preloaded shapes we already have we have a sine triangle so up so down or we can drag and drop our favorite wavetable so it'll be the carrier and we can you know choose the position with this knob in here just like with the slave wavetable or our carrier can be an envelope that we can actually choose from you know different presets that we have in here pretty interesting shapes, or we can draw our favorite shape in here. And by the way, the grid can go up to 16 by 16, giving us a really flexible window to design our shape. And we can save and recall the saved shapes in here with these two buttons. 
next i'll leave the carrier on triangle and i'll go to the grain table engine in here so we have different settings to play with we have the carrier in here so we can hear the carrier wave so if you would like to you know blend the carrier wave uh, i'm going to leave it on minus infinity i don't want to hear any carrier wave pw and this is where the magic happens we'll listen to it in a few and then we have the pw amp x in here what it'll do it'll just give a volume boost to the waves that lacks a little bit of volume so it's some sort of a volume knob and then we have the interpolate knob in here uh, it'll smooth up the sound if it has some clicks i'll show you in a second and we have a note on random for the pw knob in here which can go in positive and negative values now the moment you've been waiting for let's hear how it sounds like so our wave sounds like this i'll just leave i'll just take the velocity to amplitude in here i don't like it and i'll just give it some gain now we have this check this out Let's take the second or the duplicated waveform an octave lower, and now we have this. Pretty nice. Now, if I hit it like so, you can hear there's a little bit of harshness with the interplate. I can take that out. You can hear that it's kind of stepping between the different values. So if I'll add some parameter glide in here, there will be less stepping because it'll like smooth up how the engine is uh, scrolling through the, the different values, if that makes sense. nice now up to the last section in here so in the last section as i said we have the amp window basically a classic adsr envelope with a master level in here for the vca and a filter mix and uh, then we have the filter window in here now the filter is a multi-mode filter we can choose from the different modes that you know would like this is really awesome and we can choose from different slopes from 12 24 36 48 decibel per octave which is way more flexible than the filter on the virus classic filter cutoff resonance we can add some gain in here and we can add some randomness and we can smooth up the randomness with this parameter in here so it's you can see how when i dial some randomness how it'll start moving you know there will be like some sort of a shadow filter behind it you know going back and forth demonstrating how it's moving which is a really nice touch thanks alter that was the filter let's take it off and then we have a wave shaping stage for the wave shaping stage it's exactly like the envelope stage in here which means we can dial our own shapes can you know let's set the grid to 16 by 16 and yeah we can just draw our favorite shapes save them or use the presets that we have in here and uh, yeah we can play with our own wave shaper which is awesome now whether let's set it to triangle again Okay, this is not subtle at all. Let's take it down. And yeah, that was the wave shaper now. And the last thing is the scope that we have in here. And you can clearly see what's going on. And in a nutshell, that was the grain table device by altar of wisdom now let's make some sounds with it and jam a little bit you know doing some psychedelic stuff 
So uh, yeah, let's do this.
And yeah, that's wow, that was pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, I can trip on that for hours endlessly. And uh, you know, trying different shapes, different parameters, different settings, and uh, yeah, sounds pretty, pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, that's the grain table device from altar of wisdom link in the description and uh, yeah i uh, really hope you've liked this tutorial and uh, and uh, yeah with this this is the end of this tutorial i really hope you've liked it and uh, yeah have a great one